a brand new industry for the agricultural world. Based on algae and clays, its goal is to supply agriculture with high value added products for animal and plant production. From the harvesting of algae to the development of finished products, the Ulvens project required the mobilization of several industrial and scientific partners. Everything starts from algae. They have to be harvested fresh. This is a must for the exploitation of their noblest elements. Green, brown, or red algae contain unique compounds, which, for example, are not found within plants or other living organisms. Algae are very rich in mineral elements, especially in potassium, as well as in other specific molecules, which are beneficial to agriculture. In Brittany, we are really well located in order to exploit algae in a great variety of ways. We are carrying on a tradition for using algae in addition to a research activity for more than 130 years here in Roscoe Biological Station as well as in other Breton universities. There are two techniques for algae harvesting. The fishing technique. At present, this method is made easier by the satellite tracking of algae slicks floating just below the surface. The shallow water collection allows obtaining sizable crops and most of all limiting massive algae washing up on the beaches. Algae are then transported to the conditioning site, just as we do with vegetables. Washing, draining, crushing. A stage which is carried out by Agrival, a subsidiary of the Sica of Saint-Paul-de-Léon. At present, Sica Saint-Paul produces 300,000 tons of vegetables. We are located here in Agrival's facilities, in charge of the exploitation of the byproducts from green vegetables, as well as for working on the exploitation of algae, which is a new line of work for us. Here you can see the very first equipment for working on the processing and exploitation of algae. This site was closed a few years ago. Now we take the opportunity to reindustrialize it for two product lines, the algae line and the fruit and green vegetable line, aiming at activities with a real future. At the end of this process, Olmix transforms this good quality raw material into a high value added intermediate product. At Olmix facilities, a hydrolysis-based treatment will allow the release of the active ingredients of the algae. This is an enzymatic extraction, meaning that we use molecules which are enzymes that separate the seaweed into thousands of pieces. Afterwards, we can separate our added value molecules. This is quite an innovative technique because absolutely no water or solvents are used. This equipment was financed by a famous project called Ulvans, and it will allow us to separate a first range of molecules that can be used in different sectors, both for animal health and for vegetable health. Once released, the active ingredients of the algae are purified and made operational by various high-tech procedures. Then they are distributed to the various industrial channels. Clay is another natural product that is indispensable for the exploitation of algae. The clays used by Olmix, the momorolinite clays, are universally recognized for their quality and stability. These clays are then analyzed at Olmix facilities before undergoing a specific treatment crushing, drying, and ball milling. The aim is to preserve their layer structure, which is indispensable for the coherence of the process. At Olmix, since 2000, we have invested in a complete line for clay processing. This processing line contains three steps. The first one is the drying process, requiring high knowledge in temperature control. The second one is the milling process, thanks to a very specific ball milling system. And the third one is selecting. The purpose of this full process is to obtain extra fine clay particles. These extra fine particles bring an added value to optimize the interaction between algae and clay clay, and also to increase the action of the clay in the digestive tract of the animal. Ulvans was made possible by a first success, which was the object of a global patent, the Amidate. The aim was to incorporate algae extract in the interlayer space. Clays are layered components that have a structure made of thousands of compiled layers. In between each one exists an interlayer space. In this space, in natural clays, you can find cations that can be replaced by larger molecules, which, as a consequence, increases the distance between each layer, giving them a better accessibility to the different sites of the clay. The stake of Olvans is to develop new active products applicable to the fields of animal or plant health and nutrition. 
At the same time, the laboratory teams are conducting research on new products. The experience acquired by PRP, as well as the potential of the Ulvans program, allows us to select the best products, all formulated from natural ingredients, such as algae, clays, minerals, and trace elements aiming to stimulate soil fertility and the rooting of plants and their resistance to different stress conditions caused by climate and diseases. A few years ago, Olmix conducted a European research program with algae and developed a new complex called Amidate that led Olmix to the development of a full range of commercial products, especially one against mycotoxin called MTX+. This commercial success encouraged Olmix to invest further in a new research program named Olvans, based essentially on the use of algae, primarily in order to find more applications in the field of animal health. Some very well-known properties of active principles in algae are their anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, or antiviral properties. All these properties will be available tomorrow in commercial products for farmers, in different kinds of products, powders, liquids, or pastes. Depending on its properties, each complex developed is later used in formulation for animal or plant health and nutrition. These finished products are then oriented towards French and foreign markets. Each SME has its market, Melspring, Greenhouse Vegetable Cultures and Tree Cultivation, PRP, the Big Field Cultures. For us, the involvement in the Olvens project is a way to accelerate innovation to better prepare for tomorrow's needs and to answer the market's demands, and more specifically, the needs of sustainable agriculture. We must therefore develop new products. We are targeting not only French farmers, but also European and farmers worldwide. Another market for Olmix and Amadeite is that of animal nutrition, hygiene, and health. The eco-concept range developed by Olmix is a traditional range. This range has been present on the market for the past 10 years, but it was really developed and extended only since the product Amidate got its patent, based particularly on the incorporation of algae. The reasons for its dramatic growth are connected with the requests and the needs in the field. As a consequence, these products developed by Olmix are, at present, exported to more than 60 countries. Emerging countries need new technologies. They don't want to lag behind other countries, which is unnecessary to point out. Today, it is these emerging countries that are developing a global growth and whose people need food. We can see that the market developments around the applications created by Olvans are already very important. But the future also belongs to aquaculture, which offers really great prospects. Aquaculture will only be able to expand if we find sustainable sources of raw material, and algae is one of these sources. We can expect to develop the algae industry up to big volumes and high market value. Feeding 9 billion people will be conditioned tomorrow by the capacity to supply fish proteins, and fish proteins will be conditioned by algae proteins. The real matter behind all of this is a worldwide concern, the replacement of fish meal. A complete algae algae sector has to be built in Brittany, and soon maybe even a practice of algae culture. Of course, you have understood that this industry is interested in creating wealth and in participating in the reindustrialization of the Great West as part of a sustainable development policy.